Hey everybody, it's Samantha. From a tiny herding dog to pups that trace back to ancient China, today we look at the cutest dog breeds on earth. Number 14, Chihuahua. Some might argue that Chihuahuas fall within the category of cutest dog breeds on earth, but these tiny pups have won the hearts of people all around the world. I mean, Taco Bell chose one as their mascot, for goodness sake, and who doesn't like a crunch wrap supreme? There's no denying that these tiny dogs have a certain charm about them. But if they aren't trained correctly, they can be a handful. It's recommended that Chihuahuas are trained from an early age because they can develop quite the temper. Although most people aren't scared of them since they're so tiny, you still wouldn't want yours nipping anybody's heels. Chihuahuas only grow 5 to 8 inches high and don't weigh more than 6 pounds. So their personalities are what make these dogs so spunky. Even though you've heard of this breed before, you probably never knew why they're called Chihuahuas. In the mid-1800s, Americans grew interested in these little pups. They ended up finding specimens in Chihuahua, Mexico, and I think we can all figure out the rest. A Chihuahua named Beppy was the first registered with the American Kennel Club in 1908. Number 13, Mini Aussie. These floppy-eared little dogs are much smaller than their average size Australian Shepherd counterparts. They stand quite a bit shorter, at 13 to 18 inches in height, and they weigh between 20 and 40 pounds, which is up to 45 pounds less than a regular Aussie. So you might say that they're even more adorable. Despite their minuscule size, miniature Aussies, also known as miniature American Shepherds, are adept herding dogs. Put some guinea pigs in a room and watch these pups go to work. They'll round up those rascals in no time. Just kidding, please don't do that. Keep your tiny pets out of your dog's reach. Nevertheless, many Aussies are good at helping cowboys in the ring. Smaller than average Australian Shepherds were discovered working during the United States rodeo circuit in the 1960s. Those dogs were taken and bred to make them even tinier. Miniature American Shepherds are also very intelligent, so they should be trained and socialized when they're puppies. But they make wonderful pets and are incredibly loyal to their owners. Number 12, Brussels Griffin. This golden-haired, bearded pooch will steal your heart in no time. The Brussels Griffin is very small, only reaching a maximum height of 10 inches and weighing up to 10 pounds. You probably wouldn't guess, but this pocket-sized pup has a very intricate personality. The AKC even states that the Brussels Griffin has enough personality for 10 ordinary dogs. So it's important to train them when they're young. Plus, these dogs are very self-involved. They love themselves, but don't worry, they also love you. Griffs are very smart, loyal, and they'll find a way to crack you up. As you might have guessed, this breed originated in Brussels, Belgium in the 1800s. They were initially used for keeping down rat populations, but they eventually became lap dogs. In the 1870s, the Queen of the Belgians, Henrietta Maria, decided she liked these tiny dogs, so they were bred to become smaller and have more human-like faces. One famous Brussels Griffin was in As Good As It Gets with Jack Nicholson. Number 11. Bichon Frise Can you say fluffball? Bichon Frise means Bichon of the curly hair in French. This breed is a fairly small fuzzy dog that looks similar to a cotton ball. This pup only reaches 11 and a half inches tall and weighs around 18 pounds. But don't let its thick white coat fool you. The Bichon Frise is hypoallergenic. Good news for the folks out there with dog allergies. These dogs act pretty much how they look. Peppy. They are very energetic, playful, and curious. When they're puppies, they need a bit of strict training as well. According to the American Kennel Club, Bichons have a reputation for being difficult to housebreak. So plan on continually following your pup throughout your home if you decide to adopt one of these cuties. But where do these dogs come from? You might have been able to tell just by looking at Bichons that they used to be the pets of French, Spanish, and Italian royalty. I mean, talk about high maintenance, right? After years of hardship due to the French Revolution, Bichons came back strong in 1933, when France recognized them under the Societe Central Canine. The AKC accepted them in 1971. Number 10, Japanese Shin. The silky long-haired beauty is a graceful dog in a tiny package. It grows up to 11 inches tall and weighs 11 pounds. Many people believe that the Japanese Shin actually originated in China. Others believe that they came from Korea. It's pretty weird that they didn't start in Japan though, don't you agree? Anyway, they were introduced to the island country between 500 and 1000 years ago, where they were bred farther to look how they do today. Not only are these pups cute, but they are also meticulous, quiet, and aristocratic. Not surprising since they were companions to Japanese nobles back in the day. They didn't make it to Western nations until 1854 when the country began trading again. Surprisingly, Japanese shins aren't high-maintenance dogs. Even though their long coats look like they'd get tangled very easily, they only require weekly brushing and monthly baths. Number 9. Pekingese Pekingese dogs look a little bit like Japanese shins, but they're smaller with more fur. They have the same pushed-in faces, but only reach up to 9 inches tall and weigh as much as 14 pounds. Plus, their fur is thick and fuzzy, similar to a lion's mane. Since they don't have silky coats, they require more grooming than the Japanese shin. There's a Chinese legend that states Buddha created the Pekingese by shrinking down a lion. However, the more likely story is that Chinese emperors bred these dogs to be smaller versions of what they already were. 
Pekingese pups weren't introduced to Western countries until 1860, after British troops invaded Beijing. After they stormed the palace, they found five of these dogs still alive and brought them back to Queen Victoria as a gift. They weren't registered with the American Kennel Club until 1906, about 16 years after they were taken to America. Peaks are alert, loyal, affectionate, sophisticated, and happily independent. Number 8. Bolognese this pooch's hairdo pretty much screams Dolly Parton, but its fur takes a lot less maintenance than the country singer's golden locks. Plus, these dogs don't shed very much either, so people with allergies are in luck. Bolognese dogs were bred in Bologna, Italy a long, long time ago. But unlike the delicious pasta sauce, these pups aren't made out of tomatoes and ground beef. These dogs used to be companions to Italian nobles during the Renaissance before nearly going extinct when their popularity faded away. However, a man named Gianfranco Ganelli restored the demand for bolos, and they were brought to England in 1990. They are loyal, playful, and fairly calm. However, according to the AKC website, they can be prone to small dog syndrome. This issue is usually the result of an owner who didn't study up on the proper training methods, thus allowing their pup to assume the position of pack leader. Number 7. Yorkshire Terrier This tiny terrier only grows up to 8 inches tall and weighs just 7 pounds, so it could literally fit in your pocket. If you're a guy, anyway. What truly makes this dog stand out from other toys is its long, gorgeous, silky coat. The colors of a Yorkie's fur can range from shiny gold to steel blue, and it shimmers in the light as it gracefully brushes the ground as the pooch walks. Basically, a Yorkshire Terrier would make just about any L'Oreal model jealous with its beautiful locks. These dogs are loving, peppy, and aren't afraid to play in the dirt despite their aristocratic looks. They were initially bred in Lancashire and Yorkshire in the mid-1800s and used to be working-class dogs. However, they eventually became the popular lap dogs of English ladies during the Victorian era. The English Kennel Club recognized the Yorkshire Terrier in 1886, but they were brought to America in the 1870s. The first American Kennel Club recording of this breed was in 1885. Number 6. Havanese Fluffy, adorable, endearing, what else could you ask for in a loving companion? Havanese pups have all three of these characteristics, and so much more. They're quite small, only reaching 11 and a half inches in height, and they weigh up to 13 pounds. The Havanese's signature feature is its long, gorgeous coat. It comes in all different colors, and it's silky and long. In fact, their locks once earned them a spot at the side of the Cuba's nobility. If you haven't guessed already, the Havanese were named after Cuba's capital city, Havana. This is where the breed gained most of its popularity. In 1959, Fidel Castro turned the country into a communist nation. When this happened, a lot of people who fled Cuba brought their little Havanese pups to America. So the refugees preserved the breed, which is now a very popular choice for dog lovers all over the world. Number 5. Britanni Just take one look at these little pooches and you'll fall in love. The Britanni isn't the smallest dog breed, but that doesn't make it any less cute. They grow up to 20 and a half inches tall and can weigh up to 40 pounds. They have bold, patterned coats that range in color, including white with various hues of orange and browns. Not only are these dogs cute, but they are also easy to train. They started in Britanni, France, where they were originally bred as hunters. You can see these pups in paintings from the 17th century. They were taken to America in 1931, and the American Kennel Club registered its first Britanni three years later. These dogs never lost their ability to hunt over the years and are still well adapted to taking down all types of birds, including woodcocks, partridges, and ducks. Britannies are intelligent, peppy, and playful, making them the perfect companions for people everywhere, unless you're a chicken farmer. Number 4. Pembroke Welsh Corgi These are one of the most popular dog breeds, especially in current times. They're most commonly simply known as Corgis, but their full breed name is Pembroke Welsh Corgi. These pups are extremely endearing and adorable with their two short legs and pointed ears. They only grow up to 12 inches tall but can weigh up to 30 pounds, making them fairly stocky. But don't let their semi-awkward appearance fool you. These guys are quite athletic. They come in all kinds of colors including red, fawn, black and tan, sable, and they can have white marks as well. Corgi started by herding cattle and sheep and were taken to southwestern Wales in the early 1100s, when Flemish weavers were invited by Henry I of England. One person who loved these is Queen Elizabeth II. She owned her first one in 1933. Nowadays, these cute pooches are seen everywhere. T-shirts at Target, socks, blankets, and anywhere else somebody can place a Corgi image. Number 3. Siberian Husky these dogs are one of the most widely sought after, especially since the beginning of Game of Thrones, probably because they look the most like wolves out of any domesticated dog breeds. They're not small, but that doesn't mean they aren't cute. Huskies grow up to 23 and a half inches tall and can weigh as much as 60 pounds. They have thick coats that come in various colors, and their eyes can be brown or strikingly blue. But these pooches are sled dogs, so they aren't meant to live in small homes with no place to exercise regularly. In the early 1900s, they started winning sled races. In 1925, Leonard Cipolla led his huskies 658 miles to take a serum to Nome, Alaska, where an epidemic was taking place. He made it there in just five and a half days. His lead dog was Balto. Ring any bells? Try not to cry, guys. Try not to cry. Number 2. Chow Chow 
This giant ball of fur grows up to 20 inches tall and weighs up to 70 pounds. Chow Chows began in China, and you can see them depicted in various artifacts from the Han Dynasty. Apparently, a Tang Dynasty emperor had about 5,000 Chows in a private facility. In the 1820s, they were taken to the London Zoo and placed in an exhibit called Wild Dogs of China. Chows weren't brought into America until 1890s, and they were registered by the AKC in 1903. They're serious, stately, intelligent, and most importantly, fluffy. However, Chow Chows aren't for the faint-hearted. They can be very stubborn and require a lot of training and regular grooming for their thick coats. And now for our number one. Don't forget to subscribe. Number one, Pomeranian. Come on people, who wouldn't immediately fall in love with these petite puffballs? Pomeranians only grow up to 7 inches tall and weigh 7 pounds at the most. They got their name from Pomerania, which is now a portion of Western Germany and Poland. Palms became popular when Queen Victoria fell in love with them after visiting Italy. Despite these pups' small size, they exhibit the personality of bigger dogs. They need training early on because they can be difficult to housebreak. But don't let that stop you from adopting a curious, intelligent, charming Pomeranian. Today's comment comes from Tammy on our Untold Truth of Angelina Jolie video. Thanks for the comment, Tammy. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below and we might feature you in a future video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.